Hello guys, welcome back to a new episode. In this tutorial you will learn how to configure the monitoring and view the performance of your Azure VMs. The scope of this video is how to be familiar with boot diagnostics, how to enable and troubleshooting this option, we will do this on Linux and Windows machine, how to read and generate logs for boot diagnostics, understand how to view and read VM metrics, as well enable Azure monitor for VMs, you will create an alert and trigger this alert. As well, go in each tab for VM monitoring to tell the meaning of each one. Okay, before beginning, don't forget to hit the subscribe button for upcoming videos. As well, ask a question if something is not uh, clear. Let's start with enabling boot diagnostic on VM. First of all, we need a storage account to store the logs the output captured by this diagnostic and by default at this moment the boot diagnostic is enabled when you deploy a VM and doesn't matter if uh, it's a Linux or Windows um, VM. I want to note here that the boot diagnostic feature does not support a premium, uh, a premium account. Uh, if you use the premium account for boot diagnostic logs you may receive the storage account type not supported error when you will try to start uh, a VM. Uh, boot diagnostic can be enabled from the portal and as well in Azure CLI and can be enabled before after deployment of uh, your VM. From the Azure portal uh, this setting can be enabled by going to support and troubleshooting put diagnostic tab click here after that uh, go in settings and change status to to one select your storage account if you want to create a new storage account a dedicated storage account for this VM you could create uh, a new one Okay. Uh, as I said before, this can be done also via CLI or PowerShell. Let's do this from uh, from CLI. Um, you need to use AZVM boot diagnostics enabled. This option, of course, uh, name of your VM. This one paste and uh, resource group resource group for this machine let me check this one and the last parameter is uh, storage account And for storage account, we need a name, but take in consideration when you want to enable boot diagnostic from Azure CLI, you must already have a storage account and just paste here name. And not the name, but uh, primary point. Let me check, please, in configuration, sorry, not in configuration, properties. Here, primary endpoint copy this one and paste the advantage of boot diagnostic is to view the logs and the screenshots when your VM doesn't boot for many reasons you can check the link to common boot errors in the description of this video as well the link from the right corner so let's check we have too many tabs here a screenshot that was made uh, at this date as well we have a serial logs with all information here you can download it if you want so let's stop a VM to generate some logs to see the format and how they are looking if uh, we want to to get a boot diagnostic log from uh, for example from from the CLI doesn't matter let's stop this one for example 
desktop machine. Okay, the machine is deallocating. Let's uh, write the get put logs. AZVM boot diagnostics get boot log and uh, name email Linux is five as well resource group and that's it taking too long time to stop this VM but for sure we have all the logs okay we have a lot of information here how actually the machine is acting and it stopped or rebooted uh, now it's quite clear how it's working uh, the boot diagnostic and when can be used to fix your problem okay the next thing that i would want to mention is the azure vms matrix uh, a very important aspect when we want to monitor the trend of your resource or fix a weak point if your vm is slow and you can understand if more resources are needed for this Azure can offer you some standard metrics like CPU usage, memory usage and additional premium metrics for example committed memory and this can be done if you will enable guest level monitoring. What does it, uh, what does it mean? When you enable uh, guest level monitoring the Azure diagnostic agent is installed on, on your VM to provide more detail about VM resource usage. As well, this option need a storage account to store the logs. To enable guest level monitoring on existing virtual machine, select your virtual machine, for example this one, go to monitoring and uh, select this tab, diagnostic settings. On the diagnostic setting page, click enable guest level monitoring the deployment of this option is taking about 10-15 uh, minutes but we can check for another VM where we already have this diagnostic settings enabled ok after enable this option you will have additional tabs for your VM in diagnostic settings first one is a overview tab that is showing you all the settings for this option for example for Linux machine let me open a new, a new page from here for example for Linux machine we have uh, metrics tab and uh, on Windows side we have performance counters and the signification of these tabs is the same I guess this name is coming directly from Windows performance monitoring application where you can monitor each component as well we have logs tabs on the windows side and the uh, syslogs on linux side where uh, you can configure the events log logs using um, using a regular expression from here as well on windows um, on windows side you can configure the capture log as well iis side and application logs from here just uh, you will need to mention the log level and that's it okay uh, crash dumps tab is used to collect memory dumps if you have an application and it is crashing randomly for no reason this option can help you to troubleshooting by uh, adding uh, a process here for example, uh, volume shadow copy. Just add, and that's it. As well, we have a Things tab that is used for application inside to analyze diagnostic data for application running on uh, this virtual machine. And here we have uh, a disk quota that is used to to store the logs 
And the last option is a diagnostic infrastructure log that is used to troubleshoot this agent. If you have uh, trouble viewing the metrics, our your logs. Okay, how to enable monitoring alerts in case if you have a resource issue on your VM? Well, this can be done uh, by creating a rule here. For example, CPU usage or disk space usage to send uh, an email to an application team. New alert rule. Select your resource if you are already uh, on this machine. So the resource will be selected home automatically. So add your condition. For example, CPU usage. Choose the threshold. If you choose a static, you should indicate your value. If it is dynamic, the Azure will select automatically. Just indicate your severity. Okay. For example, if you are using a static and uh, if it's more than 90, for example. And granularity period one minute every every minute done the next step is to select uh, or create uh, the action group let me check if I have I already have action group here but uh, let me show you how to create a new one for example CPU usage This one CPU one and in action type you you can select email SMS push or voice and click OK. And here are the desired action like email SMS or voice message. As well you can use Azure application post notification okay let's go ahead and we need to add alert rule name and just uh, add the severity for the server and create your rule okay the rules that are already created can be checked here as well the action groups are presented here to mention that uh, with this kind of rules uh, you can uh, use a webhook for post processing or custom various action to be honest uh, Azure doesn't have a clear vision related to alert configuration uh, do it to view classic alerts and uh, the existing uh, version. I hope uh, soon they will come with uh, new updates. So let's go next uh, to this tab, the connection monitor option that help you to track connection reachability, diagnose the communication problem between two VMs that is capable to generate alerts or connection monitor metrics. So you have two options. You have two ways to enable this directly from this VM, from this tab. I will use uh, Network Watcher and go to Connection Monitor. I already have uh, two, two connections here and uh, to add a new one, just select uh, a VM and uh, your port. Check to add and that's it okay we will go next with this tab uh, inside that provide you more visibility into the health and performance of your virtual machine if you have uh, enabled this option it will take some time in many cases the VM need to be re rebooted to populate the performance graphs so let's check for another VM where I have already enabled this option and here in performance tab we have uh, a lot of uh, performance counter as well logical disk performance 
as well we have a map tab here and a cool diagram with our server and all uh, all the ports that are open and uh, the established connection with um, other servers our IP address okay the next tabs uh, the logs where you can query a lot of info related to your VM and if you ask me what can you do with Azure monitor logs you can create an alert visualize analyze retrieve and export all this data all you have to do is to be good when you create a query as well you can generate a chart directly from this uh, query let's do some test for example okay let's start with uh, the syntax first of all we need to use perf where uh, computer our computer is a mean so let's run this to check if something is returning okay we have a lot of information here so I have one query here that can paint the CPU usage using uh, using the logs so let's do this okay we have a cool chart here as well we have the table with all information we can design our chart how we want okay guys these kind of logs are very useful um, as I said before you need to be good when you create a when you create this kind of uh, query okay and the last tab uh, at this recommendation uh, this kind of recommendation are very useful and uh, here you can uh, you can figure out the impact uh, description of recommendation and uh, and benefits of this recommendation if you decided to apply this kind of uh, recommendation to your infrastructure okay guys this was all the information that I want to share with you in this video I am sure that many things have not been mentioned here but if you have a question don't hesitate to ask me via comments in this video I will help you with pleasure the next video will be how to configure networking for Azure VMs if you find the um, information for today useful, please subscribe to upcoming videos and uh, see you next time. Thank you.